I believe they can have Aladdin's lamp and have a genie that they can give a command to. What this program does, when a person listens to it, I give them the specific knowledge and the secrets that have been held back by the privileged elite class for centuries, that have never been revealed. Napoleon Hill tried to do it, and Henry Ford stopped it. I'm doing it now, and I've already gotten threats. I mean, in the worst ways. I explain a little bit. When people get it, I'll, I'll explain. But what I'm doing is very revolutionary. There's not a book out there, I can tell you. There's not an audio program or a seminar that contains the information on here. When a person just listens to this seminar, I'm virtually reprogramming their brain. And I'll give you an example. If you can imagine a, a radio, and that radio has a dial. If you want to listen to country western music, you have to dial it to the country western station. If you want to listen to classical music, you have to dial it to that frequency. If you're on the classical frequency, you ain't never getting rock and roll. <laughs> so if your brain is dialed into poverty frequency, right. you ain't never getting a lot of money. If your brain is, is into the uh, screaming, hollering with my mate frequency, you're never going to have peace at home. If your brain is permanently dialed into the I'm alone frequently, you're never going to meet the woman or man of your dreams. So what this does is, as I'm talking, I'm asking you questions so that you find out what you want, and then I actually reprogram it almost for you so that your brain starts dialing in the frequency. That's why the guy who came to the event in the Alps, when I recorded this, he wanted a relationship. And that night, in less than 24 hours, he had met the woman of his dreams as if by magic. Now since then, the people that have gone through the live event, without exception, some people have made millions of dollars. Some people have had, had lucky experiences, almost serendipitous, mm. or amazing coincidences. One guy missed his flight on the way to the airport in Zurich, and then while waiting for his next flight, bumped into somebody they started a conversation, and now they're business partners in a multi-million dollar business deal. Things like that. I have lists of all these people that had gone through that live training, and now the people that have bought this at the full price are writing me the same types of letters. Mm. So again, if, if a person calls today, and they have to call today, it's a limited time, I'm going to give them the entire series, Your Wish is Your Command, How to Manifest Your Desires, it's 14 CDs, at 70% off. And they're going to get a free $2,000 ticket to a live event so they can meet me personally and ask me questions to make sure that they're using this. And a 90-day unconditional money-back guarantee. So if they use it, if, if everything I say doesn't come true, if their life isn't, if they don't feel like they have the genie in Aladdin's lamp mm -hmm. granting them their every wish, send it back. And they get a private personal invitation to join one of the world's most exclusive, elite, private organizations for affluent people so you can network with people around the world and help you develop wealth. Now this is a CD set. Why didn't you just write a book? I am going to write a book, but it, quite frankly it's very difficult to write a book. I've written uh, six bestsellers. It takes a lot of time to write a book. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So I recorded this live in the, in the CD series you actually learn differently from listening to something as you do from reading. So I am going to be coming out with a book, but that won't be till next year. But the CD series is one of the best ways to actually grasp this information. Now, Kevin, some critics say there's no scientific basis for the law of attraction. I, it seems like what you've had is anecdotal information, as they say. Yeah, well, the, the, the scientific question is, A, is the brain a transmitter and receiver of frequency? And for years, people said there's no scientific evidence of that. Well, there is now. Hmm. I mean, sure, Einstein said it, and Thomas Edison said it, and half the billionaires around the world have said it for, for centuries. It's written in ancient texts. But science said there's no scientific evidence. Now we have it. We have uh, motorized units where paraplegics can put this on their head, and by thought, it'll go to the right, to the left, straight, backwards. There are units now where you put on your head a keypad for people who have no hands. They can think, cat, and guess what comes up on the screen? C-A-T. Wow, you mean thoughts can be transmitted? Because a, a different thought, yes. We have, in, like I said, in SkyMall, the machine you put on your head, by thought, you can move a ball left, right, forwards, and backwards. Mm. 
We now know scientifically that the brain transmits and receives frequency. We also know that those frequencies affect physical matter in the universe at the quantum level. We know that now. It is scientifically proven. The real question is, can you use that to, to attract into your life what you want? That complete scientific documentation, I think, is coming. But the first two elements of the three are already proven, so it's just a matter of time before the science catches up with reality. Why did Henry Ford and others uh, not want people to have it? You know, if I'm wealthy, I'd like other people to be wealthy. I mean, why? That's not how it works. When you're in Skull and Bones, the secret society, or at the highest levels of Freemasonry, or the Bilderberg Group, or the Trilateral Commission, or the Council on Foreign Relations, or the Brotherhood, like I was a member of, you're basically uh, part of a group that believes we want to keep this information to ourselves. We don't want competition. And so there's a huge divide in America, very controversial, but in America over the last 20 years, the amount of uh, money that the wealthy quarter of 1% have has gone up a hundredfold. And that means it comes from the rest of the group. So there is a bigger divide between the super wealthy and the rest of America. Middle class is going down and the poor are getting hit the hardest. Yeah. So there's this huge divide and it continues to increase. That's one of the reasons why I left the Brotherhood, because I don't think that's fair. I think everyone should have access to this information. If they choose to take it, that's fine. That's why I put this together. It's the first time in history that this information is being released to the general public on a, la a large scale. But get quite, guess what? There's people watching this who ain't going to call. So I, that's fine. They can stay in the position they're at because without this knowledge, I can guarantee them, their life's never going to change. I think it was Gandhi who said, "You must be."